we're facing 600 job cuts, we're facing a pensions raid, we're facing changes to our terms and conditions. Kings Cross are going to lose 26 positions, 22 at Heathrow, 13 at Euston, 19 at Green Park, and it's going to be like that right across London Underground. Zone 1 and 2 will be on minimum numbers, so when you walk into a station you know, it'll be really hard to talk to staff straight away, you'll be queuing up to talk to staff. But the real danger is on the outside of London, Zone 6, Zone 5, there won't be staff. This is um, me coming down to Brixton train depot as a train driver to give my solidarity to all my colleagues. The train staff are there to provide us with assistance on the platforms. We want to maintain the staff for uh, pre-pandemic levels. We need to keep those staff in place. They're necessary and it, we need them for safety reasons. Sets, which is station assistant train services, so you know, the other you know, people who do the batons to make sure it's safe to dispatch the platforms. If they get cut, it means that people get on and off the tube, so they become more dangerous for passengers. We have something called turn up and go. If you're disabled right now, you'll be assisted from your entry station to your exit station. If there's less staff, it might make, make it more difficult for disabled people to be assisted. Or well, at certain stations, it might make it even impossible. Access is a really, really big issue. The TfL has already locked £100 million of upgrades and future investment, and that is going to mean lifts not being put in. Sadiq Khan has made a big thing about women's safety on uh, the underground. The 600 job cuts includes job cuts to the night shift station staffing. We've already seen and we're aware that during the night the station's become a dangerous place. You know, people hanging around asking women if they want a at home and things like that. What really makes the workplace a safe environment is when you've got a good amount of workforce with a decent work-life balance. When you reduce the jobs what you do is you put the work onto someone else and then you're giving some, you're doubling their workload, you have overworked staff. It doesn't really help people really be alert or responsive as much as they could be. And then when people need time off work or any kind of situation, they find it more difficult to actually get the time off work. The mayor made a commitment to Londoners, didn't he, about greener, cleaner transport. In neighbourhoods like this one here, you know, you're trying to encourage people not to go out in the, in the cars and the road. What you want is people getting back on the railways. And number one, that means a greener, cleaner environment for people to, to live in, in London. But when people see unstaffed stations, when people see nobody there to assist them on stations, they're, 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 they're going to go back to their cars, aren't they? These cuts are all the result of a financial crisis brought about not by the pandemic, but by systematic removal of central government funding by the former mayor of London, Boris Johnson. A lot of the metros around the world, they, they're subsidised by the government, so they don't have to rely on the fares, whereas London Underground is unique in that sense because they rely on the fares, so that means um, they always will increase the fares. Even if uh, we were to roll over and allow these cuts to go through, which of course we're not going to do, uh, it would only save them around £25 million. They're looking to save uh, 500 million. That still means the pensions raid, cuts to driving, service control, all the various uh, functions that deliver transport across the whole network. So we're battling everyone on London on the ground, and pretty soon, along with our uh, comrades on the whole of National Rail, um, we'll be taking more all grades action. Sadiq Khan has the power to stop these cuts. He is overall in charge of TfL. So he is the one that needs to be at the table. He is the one that can make these decisions. We, we're sitting at tables with people who cannot make decisions at ACAS. I sat on ACAS last Tuesday myself with other reps from London Underground, and we had senior management and we had directors there. And we said to them, um, if you suspend the cuts that you've got on the table, you suspend them 600 job losses, and you get us a meeting with Sadiq Khan and with the people that actually have the power to the pair strings, um, then we'll, we'll, we'll suspend the action. No one ever, ever got back to us, but yes, Sadiq Khan was on the radio yesterday and he said that he'd offered to meet the RMT and we'd refuse. No, that is an outright lie. That is an outright lie. London Underground didn't call the talks at ACAS, it was the ACAS conciliators and the ACAS people themselves who went to London Underground and said, you need to get round the table with the RMT. The attacks that are happening against them are attacks that are happening all over the country. And we're seeing the same in education. You know, we're having a ballot in October, I think, for potential action over pay, because our pay has gone down 
15% over the last 10 years. My branch, we're currently fighting for a 10% pay rise for housing workers because obviously inflation has gone up to 11.2%. So everybody is currently feeling it. You've got, look at the vacancies for carers, over 100,000. There's a lot going on currently in the workplaces. This is one of the last jobs going in London where working class people can join straight from school without degrees and things like that. One of the last well paid jobs. If you think of the Windrush generation, especially in this area of Brixton, um, once upon a time uh, this was a hard job, long hours, bad pay, bad pensions, and it was that bad the government had to go to places like Jamaica, like Barbados, like Trinidad, and bring people here to work on the job because no one here wanted to do it. And then people, generation after generation after generation, come here, fought, fought for better conditions, fought for good pay. Um, I thought that when they retire, then jobs are there for other young people to come on. Mayor Khan has the decision, he can either fight the Tories for that funding or he can fight the staff that work on London Underground. At the minute, he's fighting the staff that work on London Underground, but as you can see, we're fighting back.